Hello, hello again, all you trainers out there. Guess what? We did it. We hit the next tier, which means not only are we going to be giving away Steam Siege, Fates Collide, and Breakthrough Packs, but we're also giving away a whole bunch of promos, including Volcanian, Celebi, Caldeo, Darkrai, Jirachi, and Victini. If we hit the next tier before Halloween, we will also be giving away the Evolutions decks, and then these are all the prizes we can win if we manage to hit our top tier goal. So make sure that you like the video, subscribe, and the question for today is going to be, if you were going to create a brand new Pokemon typing, what would it be and why? Leave your answers down below and let's go ahead and start the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Pokemon TCG unboxing video. Um, those of you who watch these a lot will know exactly what this is, and I'm very excited to have it today. This is actually a Hidden Fates tin. Uh, Hidden Fates has been a really good set, it's been really hard to find. We used to sell these where I work, and if I had known that it was going to explode as much as it did, I would have picked some up even at the slightly higher price because I totally missed out just in the time I wasn't doing anything with the game. No idea it was worth picking up, didn't even care. Saw the Raichu, went, oh, that's cute, and moved on. But I got lucky enough that someone sent me one of these for just a little bit over MSRP. I think it was like $3. Absolute gorgeous find. Loving it, loving it very much. But before we get to that, I wanted to show you what else I got. Because I have <laughs> spent bad money on Pokemon cards lately, but it's all been really good stuff. So... If any of you have seen my previous videos, you'll know what these are. These are the two packs that have one Darkness Ablaze and one regular Pokemon Sword and Shield TCG pack in it. Got four of those, and we'll be opening those at some point. I got, found this at Target. It's the Burning Shadows Elite Trainer box. Not the hardest to find, but I always really liked the Burning Shadows set, what I've seen of them. So I've got those to open another video. And then this that I found on Tuesday. I'm very excited about this because it's been extremely hard to find. I found not one, but three different champion, Champion's Path pin boxes. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Didn't have to pay scalper prices, didn't have to worry about missing out on any of the new, you know, pre-orders that they're redoing or however they're working that out. Why did I put that guy all the way over there? So I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be opening on camera at some point. And I want to know what you guys want to see first, last, second, what you'd be interested in maybe seeing, like, if any of the polls or something I get duplicates of, what sort of giveaways I might be able to do for that. Let me know in the comments down below. Interact with me. Let me know what sort of stuff you're most interested in seeing, because I got a whole bunch to open, including a cute little Halloween surprise. But we'll get back to what I was actually going to open for today. Let me just tuck everything away right quick. And let's get back to that Hidden Fates tin. Now, I'm probably going to embarrass myself because I didn't think to take off the plastic wrap first. But, let's see. And even just finding these not previously opened, like a lot of people have been opening them and then selling the tins. Like, oh look, it's the tin from Hidden Fates. Fill it with your own Pokemon cards. And that's cute and all. Might end up purchasing the other two tins if I don't actually get a full set again. Um, just, just to have them on my shelf because I think they look really neat. And even though it's plastic, I do like those windows quite a bit. They're nice and clear. Absolutely love the Raichu card that comes in these. I ended up getting one of them on TCGO somehow. Not entirely sure. I can't remember if it was a trade or what, but I have that aside. So, and then we've got in here the four packs of Hidden Fates. So let's see. We've got Mew, Shiny Mewtwo, Shiny Charizard, and then the Legendary Birds. So we'll just go left to right, I think, and start this out. Let's take a look at this. Here, y'all can come back in screen. Lovely. Ugh, look at the shine on that. The part of me really wanted, like, as soon as I had it, I wanted to just rip it open, look at everything inside, because I, I did have a lot of Hidden Fates and a lot of Shining Legends um, on the TCGO game, but nothing in person. So I thought, you know, oh, just, just open this, who cares about filming it? But honestly, it's been a hot minute since I filmed. It won't seem like long since my first upload goes up. Um, but it, it's been a little bit of a time, so. Start with that one. Ugh, I ripped it and I'm hating myself. Put those aside. Don't know if there's any sort of card trick at for this one. Didn't really look at it this much, so we're just gonna start from the beginning and then we'll adjust the packs as we go. So we start with Caterpie. A really cute Eevee. Look at it running at the screen like that. <laughs> I thought that Ekans was, like, 
shooting out a little flame. Like, that's not something Ekans does, but that's actually, if you can see it back there, a little Articuno. Got a Charmander. A Psyduck. <laughs> okay, so the first first nice pull of the pack is the Golden Tapu Koko GX. Really, really love that card. Oh, and I actually, for once, right up there, remember my gash dilly dang darn sleeves. So we got those for that now as well. So we'll just sleeve that Tapu right up. And then we'll count how many more cards we have past him. So we know how to do the flip for the next one. Snorlax, a fire energy, hang on. A far fetched. Can't tell if the camera's focusing on those or not. We got Jinx giving you a little smooch there. And a Charmeleon to go with that Charmander. So not gonna lie, first pack, very excited. Lots of those cards just look so nice. I've always loved, well, <laughs> I say always, once I got back into it and got to see a bunch of the sets and stuff, I really loved the art from Hidden Faiths. And uh, like I said, Shining Legends was a really nice one as well. So the next pack we got is the one with the Shiny Mewtwo on the front. And we'll see about that. And you know, I said we'd count how many cards it was. Think I counted? No, just too excited about the Top Coco. So let's give it a sec there. Put those down. And it was right in front of the Snorl- or the, uh, Farfetch. So one, two, three, four, Snorlax. So that's real deep into the pack. That's, that's six cards deep from behind. So let's do that. Pull aside the white card. One, two, three, four, five, six there. All right. So we'll start with a Geodude. A Slowpoke. A Clefairy. Oh, look at it. It's got little dancy buddies. I don't know about anyone else who might have watched the anime, but anytime I see Clefairy, all I can see is it doing that cute little metronome dance. Getting ready to evolve around the giant moonstone. We got a Jigglypuff. Another Caterpie. Got Bill's Analysis. We'll have to read what that does sometime. That's not one I've seen before. Fairy Energy. Pokemon Center Lady. Sabrina's Suggestion. Misty's determination <laughs> and a shiny Greninja GX. So already this pack has just been absolutely amazing. Cannot wait to get these in my collection. I'll put that over with the Tapu. Try not to push anybody out of frame. All right, so that's two packs down, two to go. Even if the next ones aren't that great, I am excited. These are cards I didn't have. Their whole set's just. I know I keep talking about it, but it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous artwork. So, do the shiny Charizard pack next. Alrighty, let's take a look. White card, one, two, three, four, five, and a six. Alrighty, got another one of those Eevee. Another Clefairy. The Psyduck again. Oh, a different Ekans. Oh, that's cute. Look at, there's a little pastel rainbow in the background all the way across the sky. Caterpie. It'd be fun if we get the same card four times. Ooh, Arbok, and we actually have Jesse hanging out there in the background, too. It's a nice throwback. Got a Water Energy. Misty's Determination again. Metapod with, a, I think, a Picky Peck coming at it. A Charmeleon. And a Reverse Holographic Erica's Hospitality. I like that one. Haven't managed to find it, really, but I haven't sought it out much either. So that's a nice one to have. Alright, and then we are on to the last pack. Now I heard tell that a lot of people seem to think the Legendary Bird Trio has the best pull rate. I think it might be random. I think people are just describing what they want to to it. But I mean, hey, who am I to doubt? Let's just open it up and take a look, see what the pulls are like for that one. Alright, so we got the white card. One, two, three, four, five, and a six. All right, we got a very angry looking Slowpoke, a Voltorb, a really cute Pikachu. I've been wanting this one. I've seen it around a bit. That Happy Ekans again, and a Coughing to go with it, and a Weezing to evolve that Coughing. So now I've got Ekans and Arbok and Coughing and Weezing, which just sounds like a really bad cold. Got Darkness Energy, Graveler, a Farfetch'd. Who really loves his leak, I guess. Rock's Pewter City Gym. And a reverse holographic Chansey. So honestly, like, we just started good and stayed good. Like, definitely the GX cards are better than just reverse hollows, but I love them. I love these a lot, especially because I don't have any where the reverse hollow looks quite like this. 
So I got those guys. And we also pulled that beautiful Greninja GX that shiny and the golden Tapu Koko card. For my one and so far only uh, Hidden Fates tin, I could not be more thrilled. So we'll, they're all sleeved up for once. Didn't forget my sleeves. Go ahead and put all those guys aside. And then again, I just want to hear from all of you. What do you think we should do for unboxing next time? And I'm going to try too to have a, a slightly more regular upload schedule. I'm thinking either Tuesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, something like that. So I'm going to let y'all decide and let me know in the comments down below whether we want to open some Champions Path, whether we want to take a look at part of this. Okay, let's get a better view of those. We got three of those ones. So whether we want to do that, whether we want to take a look at some older cards with the Burning Shadows Elite Trainer box, or if we just want to keep it nice and fun and do these guys. So be on that lookout for another video closer to Halloween. I've got a cute little surprise I found in Walmart. Um, said Halloween a few too many times, so y'all probably know what it's going to be. But I don't know. I think it could be cute. I've, I've made a habit of collecting part of the Halloween collection, even as I wasn't really into the cards. So we'll see how this all turns out. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense algorithm stuff if you want to see more from me. And just let me know how it's going. You guys have a great day.